And with that ominous sound. Oh my god, this is too loud. <laughs> Hello everyone, my name is Andre and today we are doing something different. We are playing Pokemon Renegade Platinum And like I was saying with that ominous sound marks the beginning of a new uh, series Even though I have not finished the other ones <laughs> But it does not really matter. Like I have said to you guys, I have been a fan of Pokemon for the longest time. I can't even state, like, I was probably six when I started playing Pokemon games. And it's been going on ever since. I love it, I love it, I love it. And this version, which so rudely interrupted me, this version, Renegade Platinum, is a... Uh, uh, hack version of Pokemon Platinum, as you guys might know, it's a patch, and uh, in it, you know, you have access to all the Pokemon, to uh, a few extra events for legendary and mythical Pokemon. It's a bit more difficult, and uh, it has a few changes to be comparable to like Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon, right? Obviously, it doesn't have Pokemon that go you know, uh, away from Sinnoh, you know, so it's only until Generation 4. That's good enough for me. Uh, I've been wanting to do a Let's Play of a Pokemon game for a while. Uh, I actually have been wanting to do videos on Pokemon for a while. But unfortunately, you know, my plans have been foiled by my lack of ability. <laughs> um, and let's begin, I, I guess. Like, Welcome to the world of Pokemon Renegade Platinum. I know, again, I know it's not a reaction, and I do apologize. I know most of you guys have subscribed for reactions and stuff like that, but I really do hope you at least give this a chance. And if you like it, you like it. If you don't like it, you don't. That is life. Uh, as always, guys, please don't forget to subscribe. We are almost at 100 subscribers. We just recently hit 72 subscribers. Which is amazing, which is fantastic, which is something that I cannot thank you all guys enough for doing. Thank you so much, but as always, please, if you do not mind, if you like the content you see on this channel, if you want to keep supporting it, please do subscribe, comment, and share, and all that good stuff. Leave a like, leave a thumbnail, I don't know what I'm talking about <laughs> anymore. Continue talking as we go along the game. This is an enhancement hack of Pokemon Platinum version by Dreyano. I'm going to post links in the comments below if you guys want to try this. So, um, comments in the description below. There will be a link to the page where I downloaded this patch if you guys want to check it out. You can expect to see many changes to wild Pokemon, trainers, and more. There's also documentation provided with a hack for all changes. If you happen to need the link to it, check the PC in the player's room. Most importantly, have fun. It's almost a new adventure. Hello there. It's so very nice to meet you. Welcome to the world of Pokemon. My name is Rowan. However, everyone just calls me the Pokemon Professor. Before I go any further, this is your first adventure. If you need advice, I'm certainly capable of giving it. We're n we don't need advice. We don't need information. This world is widely inhabited by creatures known as Pokemon. Here, have a Pokeball. Touch the button on the middle of the Pokeball, if you please. No, no. Not that button, the button on the Pokeball. It's an Eevee. We humans live alongside Pokemon f as friends. At times we play together, and at other times we work together. Some people use their Pokemon to battle and develop closer bonds with them. Yeah, let's call it. Developing closer bonds, like, come on, like, we're both- No, that's not what's up. What do I do? I conduct research so that we may learn more about Pokemon. Now, why don't you tell me a little bit about yourself? 
Are you a boy? Or are you a girl? So... I've played so many times as Dawn, because she was in the anime. Uh, I, I think it's time to finally play as Lucas. <laughs> I have... I have renegated him for a long time, but I actually used to play a lot as Dawn because she she was a familiar face. She was from the anime. Uh, she was Ash's companion, uh, one of many. But I'm going to go with Lucas this time. All right, so you're a boy. Tell me, what is your name? So what's going to be my name? I guess I, I'll go with my name, right? Uh, I usually, you know, have specific names for these games uh, that I like to use. <laughs> but ah, god damn it! Huh? Well, it's without without something that it needs. Your name is Andre. Yes! Okay, so you're Andre. A fine name that is. Thank you so much, Professor Rowan. You know, I always thought that it was a beautiful name. Very biblical sometimes, but whatever, nobody cares. Uh, amazing, uh, you know, it's lovely that you think I'm amazing already. Now, this boy here, I believe he's your friend. No, never met him. That guy, he's not, no, nope. nope, I, no. I have no association with him. He's Barry. He'll always be Barry. He's always going to be Barry. Nolan, Roy, Gayet, Gavin. <laughs> I was about to say something really wrong. Gavin. <laughs> Gavin. No, he's going to be Barry. Ha, ah, Barry. How are you, Barry? Nice to meet you, Barry. Barry, is it? That's your friend's name? <laughs> Like, Jesus, you think I'm going to mistake my friend's name even though I never met this person in my life? Um, let's think about it. Yeah, sure, why not? Alright, Andre. The time has come. Your very own tale of grand adventures is about to unfold. On your journey, you will meet countless people and po- and Pokemon. I, 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 I traded those things, you know, it's the same thing. I'm sure that along the way you will discover many things. Perhaps even something about yourself. What you talking about? What you talking about, Professor Rowan? I, I don't appreciate that at all. That sounds ominous. You know, that sounds super ominous. You know, it's like... Don't worry, everything's going to be fine. I think. Uh, the shit just got real. Now, go on, leap into the world of Pokemon. Bye, Felicia. Oh, they don't do that sound. Uh, is it, is it just in Heart Gold and Soul Silver? Pokemon are by our side. Oh, wait. <clears throat> no, actually, this is television. Pokemon are by our side. Always. I hope you will understand the meaning of those words. That was a comment left by Professor Rowan, who has returned to Sinnoh from the Kanto region. That concludes our special program. Let's ask Professor Rowan. Is that the future? Let's let's go Pokemon. <laughs> Brought to you by Jubal Live TV on National Wide Net. See you in the next. See you next week. Same time, same channel. Oh my god, Barry. Hey there! No, no, I, no, I need a better one. Hi there! There you are! Hi, Andre! Did you just see the TV? Sure you did! Professor Rowan! That was a really important guy who studies Pokemon, right? That means he must have lots and lots of Pokemon. <laughs> I love this voice, I'm keeping it. So, if you ask me, I bet you'll give us some Pokemon, like, you know. Oh, hi, this is a new PC? Um, where was I? Oh, right, right, 
We're going to go see Professor Rowan and get some Pokemon. We'll be waiting outside. I'll be waiting outside. Okay, Andre? So if you're late, I'm finding you. Fuck you, bitch! I'm finding you one million Poke Dollars. <laughs> yeah. Bitch. Mom brought this TV as a gift. Damn, that's a that's a good gift. I checked PC. There's some information about the game you're currently playing. Pokemon Renegade Platinum. For documentation, please go here. So, there's a bunch of things that we need to do. First of all, text needs to. <laughs> right? Uh, next, we need uh, battle scene, no battle style set. Um, yeah. Uh, let's see. Ah, uh, we need to go with the classic design, right? No. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We also need to do our first save. Always do a save right at the beginning, because you never know what's going to happen. <laughs> and this is like my first time. This is the test, right? So this first episode might be a bit longer than the, the other episodes because, you know, it's the setup, it's me explaining stuff to you and whatever, uh, and introducing the game and stuff like that, but uh, we'll finish after the tutorial, but mostly, um, you know, and maybe when we arrive to the first city, I'm not sure, uh, but we'll see. Oh, there's a Pokeball there. So, because this is a, a hacked version, this is kind of a different game, similar but different at the same time, because there's a lot of things that have changed, uh, according to the what I read about the files. Hi, Barry. Hi, Andre. Barry has already left. You're going after him, right? <clears throat> then take your running shoes. You'll need them to leave in a hurry. Andre received a pair of running shoes. You should take your bike with you as well, dear. I obtained a bicycle. Yeah, like this, you know, this is one of those uh, very interesting changes. You know, I get a bicycle right at the beginning. Okay, you off you go, sweetie. Bye, mom. I, I forgot to change voices there. Okay, I want that Eevee. Yes, that's very. I remember playing this game so well. This was one of the big differences. It was winter when we started playing this game, which, uh, you know, in the original one, it, that was not happening. Technology just blows me away. I mean, now you can play with people around the world wirelessly. Indeed, Mr. Person. Indeed. Hello, Miss Elderly. Did you hear? The Pokemon Professor has returned to the next town over. They say he was gone for long years. I wonder if he found some amazing Pokemon while he was gone. <laughs> listen, listen, Andre. I want the cute Pokemon. Uh, whoops. <laughs> Uh, I don't know what I did. Whatever. I clicked the button accidentally. As you can see, there are going to be a lot of annoying voices, but that's life. Hello, Miss Person. How are you? Is it true that wild Pokemon do attack people sometimes? What Pokemon also open their hearts to you so you can be friends? Yes, that is correct. Pokemon will literally stab a bitch sometimes, you know, but, you know, if you give them cookies, they... they will be. You off to anger with Barry Gan. You two sure are tight. Yeah, bruh. Yeah, shuck, bruh. Yeah. I think I need to go visit... Oh, God, yeah. F this is the type of grade A acting that you can expect from my channel, you know. Great A acting. Not even Joaquin Phoenix can do something like this. Like, you know. 
What was that about? Oh, uh, by the way, I'm totally going to forget the voices that I'm doing, so they will change from time to time. Except mine. When when it's like narration or something like that, it will be my voice. Or, or the TV, because, you know, everyone can do this voice. Like, everyone knows. But I'm, I'm totally going to forget Barry. Oh, hey, Andre. Hey, I'm going to see Professor Rowan. You should come too, and quickly. He's such a bitch! <laughs> that voice makes him sound like such a bitch. Oh, gee, I've got something. Of course you did. The fuck you're doing home? You, you aren't supposed to be home. Mr. Battle Frontier guy. Um, with your Rhyperior bitch ass bitch. Oh, hi, Andre. My husband, Palma, is home for once. Have you spoken to him? Barry and him are so alike. Is that so? Neither of them can never sit still. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, hello, Mr. Palma. Oh, hi, Andre. You're here to play with my son, Barry, right? Great. Enjoy yourself. Don't get into much trouble. I I tried to make like a different voice. I I tried. Uh, I better take a bye bag and journal too, and say bye bye. <laughs> <laughs> and say bye to daddy <laughs> before he leaves. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh my god, daddy. <laughs> You're gonna say bye to daddy, hey Barry, <laughs> we all know what that means. Oh, hi Andre. I've been waiting on the road. It's uh, one, it's 10 million fine if you like. Hey Barry, don't forget to say bye to daddy. <laughs> <laughs> oh my, I'm going to hell. I deserve to go to hell. Uh, oh, well, he did say bye to daddy, apparently. And daddy did say bye to him as well. Uh. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. Right, sure. Yeah, I forgot about this. So, we need to return here. Uh, hopefully, I don't forget because here is the keystone for Spirit Bomb. Uh, so, hopefully, I don't forget to return. Too slow. Alright, let's get moving to Professor Rowan's lab. What? You're going to the grass, right? No worries, no problem. It doesn't matter that we don't have any Pokemon. Trust me on this one, I've got an idea. Now listen, you know how wild Pokemon jump out when you go into the tall grass? So, what you do, you scoot over to the next patch of grass before any wild Pokemon can appear. If we just keep dashing, we can get into Sand Jam Town without running into wild Pokemon. Okay, stick with me. Okay, here it goes. On your marks. Hold it! You two don't seem to have any Pokemon between you. Then what is the meaning of going into the tall grass? They're all doing this face. Hey Andre, this old guy. It's Professor Rowan, isn't it? What is he doing here? In my f bloody hell, the fucking old piece of garbage. Jesus. 
That's what Barry sounds to me. I tried to go into the telegrass because they wanted Pokemon. Hmm. What to do? Their world would surely change if they were to meet Pokemon. Is it alright for me to put them on that path? You do. You truly love Pokemon, don't you? I mean... I mean... Come on! What? Mm, uh, mm, uh, this is, this is, um, uh, yeah, okay, yeah, yeah, I guess. I guess. Like, sure. Um, yes, 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 yes. Me too. I love Pokemon too. I will ask you once again. You too. You truly love Pokemon, do you? What? You can ask a hundred times. The answer will never change. Mm -hmm. We both want... We both ans... Come on, sometimes I can't speak. We'll both answer a hundred times. We love Pokemon. Right, Andre? <laughs> Come on, I mean... Well, is love the right... Let's be honest, love is a bit of a strong word, like, but, you know, if you put, the, if you feel like, you, you know, and you, and you kind of, mm, you know, mm, so I, mm, I guess if you think about it, yes, I, I guess I do. A pair of reckless kids who foolishly try to enter the tall grass without Pokemon of their own. It worries me that people like that would do. I, I'm sorry. It worries me what people like that would do with Pokemon. Uh, well, I... Uh, well then, forget about me, but give me a Pokemon to my friend here. I mean, it was me who tried to go into the tall grass and all. Very going all Tsundere on me. <gasps> How big of you. Very well then. I will entrust you two with Pokemon. I apologize for putting you through that exercise. However, you must promise me that you will never recklessly endanger yourselves again. Now then, hmm. Now where? There she is, Dawn. Professor, Professor Rowan, you left your briefcase at the lake. Is something wrong here? Ah, oh, there it is. Done. Nice work. What I was about to do was to entrust these two with their own Pokemon. Pardon? Those Pokemon are hard to replace. And now you. Uh, and now you sure about giving them away? Hmm. We exist side with. We exist side by side with Pokemon. There comes a time where people should meet Pokemon. This is a world where that should be explored together. For them, today is that time. The place right here. My god, it's so hot today. I'm almost burning out. Go on. Open the briefcase. And choose a Pokemon. Really? Professor Rowan, I can't believe it. I'm so happy right now that I can't keep a straight face. Hey, Andre, you can choose first. Hey, I'm practically a groundhog. I have to show some class here. <laughs> okay. So, this... The fuck is that person there? This is the big decision, right? So, look, I'm gonna be straight with you guys. I love all of them. There isn't a single one of these Pokemon that I don't like. There isn't one single one of them. I will say this, though. Um, usually I choose the star based on their final evolution, you know. And this, in this case, it's Empoleon, Tanjara, and Infernape. I... 
I can't really choose, but because we can have them all, I think I'm going to go with Piplup. Piplup is, I think, my favorite of the stars from Sinnoh. And it's a, it's a difficult decision for me because, you know, um, I love all the stars very much. But like, I don't know, it, it's... It, there's something about Empoleon. I just, I, I just love it. I, I, I think it's the only penguin poke. Oh, no, 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 no. We have a new one in Sword and Shield. I almost got that wrong. It's like one of the few penguin Pokemon. I just really love it. I really like Empoleon's design. I love it. So I think I'm going to go with Piplop. Then I choose you. I'm Pip. I'm picking this Turtwig. Very well. Both of you have chosen a good Pokemon, it seems. Now, listen well. The Pokemon you have been entrusted with are unfamiliar with the world. In that regard, they are much like you. As fellow newcomers to the world, I hope you'll do well together. If you have any trouble, come see me at my lab in San Jam Town. And now, we'll be on our way. I, I, I don't need to say that. Professor! Professor! Wait for me, please! I'm sorry, let me pass! Sassy. You know what? Sassy. How do you like that? Professor Rowan is really nice. On TV, he seems so stern and scary. <laughs> Andre, we've both got Pokemon now. There's only one thing to do, right? Are you up for this? Of course, bring it, bitch. I've always wanted to say this. The time has finally come. Andre, I challenge you to a Pokemon battle. I added the Pokemon battle because it felt more suitable. You are challenged by Pokemon Trainer Barry. Pokemon Trainer Barry has sent Tetris. Go, Piplup! Not shiny. What a shame. Whatever. Uh, so... I guess we'll start with a Growl. To, like, reduce his attack because we need to. We are faster than him, so that's good. Okay, that's good. So, now we don't really need to concern ourselves, like, much. Because we should be able to win this way. What the? That one hurt, didn't it? Uh, I didn't use the right voice right now. Come on, give me a crit! Withdraw. Defense? Uh, yeah. That's really not ideal. Hmm. This won't do much damage, will it? I don't think it will because it's... Yeah, that won't do shit. I was kind of hoping. Well, let's go pounding. Yeah, that's not doing much either. Uh, we might lose this one. I need I need to use Growl again. Um, damn, it's still doing so much damage. I should have used a lot of Growl at the beginning. Hopefully, uh, now nah, nah, I fucked up right there. That is quite embarrassing. Uh, yeah, I don't have any potions. I don't have any shit. The only way I can win is with a crit, which I'm not gonna get. So yeah, it's done. Um, so yeah. Well, it it is a difficult battle because Tortwig is in time to advantage. But to be fair. Um, yeah, I shouldn't have lost there. I should have used more growls at the beginning. Ha! Uh -huh. oh, I won! I won! But that battle, it could have gone either way. It was that close. I can tell you one thing. Battling is awesomely fun. Okay, let's go home. I'm beat after that battle. My Pokemon needs to rest too. See ya, Andre. 
Yeah, no, I, I remember. I actually lost. It's not the first time I've lost this battle, honestly. Uh, because, if I'm not mistaken, Barry always chooses the type advantage against you. And, uh, yeah, no. I don't think if I had kept doing Pound from the very beginning, I would have won. I should have used more Growl. Um, uh, until I, like, I reduced his attack so much that I would have been able to survive through it. Um, yeah, maybe. Hmm. You and Barry... Uh, what was their voice? You and Barry are very lucky to have met Professor Rowan. Imagine if you didn't. I wouldn't like to think though what wild Pokemon might have done to you. Andre, go see Professor Rowan and thank him properly for your Pokemon. His lab is in Sanchem Town, isn't it? Now that you have your own Pokemon, the Telegrass won't be the fattening. Sure, Mom. I want that Eevee. Do I have my potions from PC? I don't think. Yeah. Yeah. No, it's just they they took away the possibility. Okay, fuck it. No, I don't know. It doesn't really matter. So let's go. Let's go see. Uh, let me just check something. Oh Jesus Christ, Barry. Barry! Too slow, Andre. I'm sick of waiting. I'm going to see Professor Rowan so I can thank him properly. So, I had this great idea. Listen up, okay? You know the l you know that lake where we always play at? You know how they say a legendary Pokemon lives there? You guess it, let's catch that Pokemon! That will make Professor Rowan happy, I'm sure of it. Me and you together, we've got nothing to fear. Sure, Barry. Uh, this is uh, Lake of Variety. Uh, all right. We're at the lake. So, this is where Azelf is, isn't it? Get ready, because we're capturing that legendary Pokemon. Trust me on this one. It's here. Even the sign. It even says so on the sign. What's going on? There he is, the boss Cyrus from Team Galactic. <clears throat> now he needs a special voice. The flow of time. I I don't think I. <coughs> The flow of the flow of time, the expanding space. I will make it all mine one day. Cyrus is my name. Remember it. Until then, sleep while you can, legendary Pokemon of the lake bed. Allow me to. Pass. Step aside. And this is the most commanding voice I can do. What was that about? Weird guy. You can tell you don't need to tell me why. So you can, Jesus Christ, did you see the hair? Like, come on, did you see the hair? Oh, Jesus Christ, you look like a wannabe Vegeta Blue. Like, come on, you, you, you know, Jesus. Okay, Andre, let's catch that legendary Pokemon. <laughs> yeah, that's the first and only time I'm making Pokemon songs. <laughs> Did you hear that, Andre? That was the legendary Pokemon crying. That had to be. Okay, this is our chance. Let's catch it. W wait, what? We don't have anything on us? Y you know, but Pokeball. Bo B O K accent E ball. Well, you know, if you don't have any balls, Barry, you don't have to do it. That is, just because you have no balls doesn't mean you're a coward. If we don't have any of those, we can't catch Pokemon or take them around with us. 
Do you think Professor Rowan will give us some if we ask him? You know, you remember what he said, don't you? He said to visit him at his lab if we need anything. Okay, Andre, I'll race ya. First one to the professor's lab in San Jam Town Rules. Ugh, oh, Jesus Christ, that was tough. <laughs> uh, I'm sure there's like something hidden. Hidden here somewhere. Um. Oh, damn. Ay, ay, ay. Uh, so, our first challenger is a Psyduck. Uh, let's pound him. <laughs> oh, God, brilliant. Boing. Critical hit. That was crit. Oh, that's <laughs> just brilliant. Tail whip. Uh, speed. Defense. I don't remember. Scratch will do... Not, not a lot, actually. In fairness. Come on, another crit. Finish him. No. Jesus Christ, really. But now we need to go to the Pokemon Center. Can we avoid Dawn? No, we can't. Uh, please, uh, please do excuse me, but it's hot as balls here. Uh, it's incredibly hot today. Uh, so I'm actually dying on the inside. Um. <clears throat> oh, there you are. Please come with me. The professor is waiting. Uh -huh. This is your last. This is it. Our Pokemon Research Lab. Let's go. It's a mixture of. You know... The Barry, it's the second time today. Come on. What the? Oh, it's you, Andre. Yes. That old guy... <laughs> I mean, the professor. That old guy is not scary so much as he's totally out there. Uh, it doesn't matter, Andre. I'm out of here. See you later. What a bitch, right, Don? Oh, what was that? Your friends here, so you're really impatient. Well, anyway, let's go inside. <coughs> I'm not gonna have any voice tomorrow, I'm... I can already tell. I need to drink water. I need to drink water next time I record this. Thank Jesus Christ. Well, well, well. Look who's here. Andre, was it? I'm sorry, I have to stop with the voices. <laughs> Just a little bit. Let's have a look at your Pokemon. Hmm, I see. This Pokemon seems to be rather happy. Hmm, entrusting you with that big love was no mistake, it seems. Well, would you like to give it a nickname? No. Well, I first saw you two about to step into a tunnel grass without Pokemon. I was shocked. I was astounded by this foolhardy trip, foolhardy children. But now, you've astounded me in an entirely different way. Already, there is a bond growing between you and that Pokemon. I feel privileged to have met you. I'm sure Pipla feels the same way about you. That's why I'll ask you to cherish that Piplup of yours. I'm glad that you have that car. I'm glad that you kind towards Pokemon. If it weren't, if you weren't, I would have to... Oh, I just can't say it. She means kill you. She just threatened my life. <coughs> Let's move on the main topic. There is something I want you to do for me. Allow me to properly introduce myself first. My name, as you know, is Rowan. I study Pokemon. First of all, I want to know exactly what kinds of Pokemon live in the Sino region. To do so, it is necessary to collect data using the Pokedex. This is what I wish to ask of you. I want to entrust you with this Pokedex. 
Will you use it to record data on the Pokemon in Sinnoh for me? Good answer. Uh, I obtained the Pokedex. The Pokedex is a very high-tech device. It will automatically record data on every kind of Pokemon you encounter. It also includes the national mode of any Pokemon not native to the Sinnoh region. Andre, I ask you that you go everywhere and meet every kind of Pokemon in this region. I've got one too! When you walked up to Route 201 with your Pokemon, what did you feel? I have lived for 60 long years. Even now, I get the thrill when I'm with the Pokemon. Now, you should know that there are countless Pokemon in this world. That means there are just many thrills waiting for you out there. Now go. Andre, your grand adventure begins now. The Pokemon that I met for the first time was Chincha! If you would have chosen Chimchar on Route 201, you would have the same Pokemon now. Not that it matters, but anyway, I'm done. I also want to help the professor add pages to the Pokedex. So in a sense, I'm just like you. I just got a little head start on you, that is all. I'll be happy to teach you things. Glad to meet you, Andre. Ah, this is killing my vice. Oh, I can move. Okay, Professor, hi, bitch. The world is immense. There are many Pokemon. That means, okay, whatever. Uh. Oh, damn. Uh. Oh, Andre. You've noticed the Pokeballs that are inside my briefcase, have you not? You know, I have been very impressed at your ability to bond with Pokemon. So much so that I would feel safe if I would have entrusted two Pokemon inside the briefcase to you. They are also young Pokemon who would benefit from seeing the world. As they are individual species, they are ex also ex exceedingly rare. As such, it would benefit your Pokédex to take them with you on your journey. Please do raise them well. Yeah, sure. Yeah, I, I assume so. No. But we are still... Even though, again, this is like one of those changes that I was talking about. Originally, you didn't get all three starters. But this is like one of the changes I was talking about and this is one of the things I I meant when I said I'm just going to use Piplup um. as a starter oh. but I am curious to see if any of them is shiny no no I didn't get any luck oh well you can't win them all Professor Rowan has been studying Pokédex systems with Professor Oak. Professor Oak is Professor Rowan's junior in terms of seniority. Really? That's interesting. I didn't know that. Could you imagine having a catalog of every kind of Pokémon in the region? Yes. I could. <laughs> what do you want me to say? Hi, Don. Andre? I have something good here. You should take this as well. Poké Radar. You put the Poké Radar in the key item pocket. As the Pokémon Radar, or just Poké Radar for short. Use it, and it will indicate grass patches where Pokémon are located. You may need it to locate some rare species of Pokémon that you want finding grass patches naturally. You take these rappels too. You take these rappels, I mean too. They will help when you use the Poké Radar. I'll send you off with a wish that your journey will be fun. Okay. Okay, Andre, I'll act as your mentor. I got a bit more experience than you. 
Nestoray right, and as a trainer and as a professor's assistant. Can you follow me? Bum -ba -dum, bum -ba -dum. This building is the red roof. It's Pokemon Center. Yeah, the place that heals you. La la la. You can find most Pokemon Center in most towns. Joining the two of them, great decision. I, I'm not going to read this because it's information that we already know. Uh, yeah. Thank you. Ah, oh, thank you for that. I actually needed that. Um, so, yeah. We are going to be doing that really quickly. Okay. Uh-huh. So there was no need. Yes, he did. Yeah, fun story. Yeah, really. Thanks, Mom. You're the best. That's just... Golly. <sighs> of course I do. Yeah. <laughs> Jesus Christ. We're being home invaded. Is my little Barry here? Oh god, no he's not. Yes, of course I will, my, my ma'am, madam, I don't know why you want me to call you. Jubilee City, yeah. Probably. I'm going to take the Eevee, yes. Uh, because, you know, Blaceon is actually one of the Pokemon that I want to have on my team, so it, it actually works out. So... Okay, teach me how to catch Pokemon, because I don't know that, I guess. Oh, that's right! Andre, we should have a little battle. I'll heal your Pokemon first, though. Let's get started, Andre. Did we fight? I don't know. Actually, Dawn and Lucas in the original... Oh yeah, I have an Eevee. I was like, what do I have? Well, I am underprepared, apparently. Taunt. You. Are you sure about that? Clear, you're gonna lower my defense. You should only have Scratch, right? Do you have Ember? But Ember is not gonna do any damage. So. Scratch is. But uh, I'm not faster than you actually. But one more attack and I and I kill you. So. Oh, yeah, taunt is not gonna work in this situation. It really isn't good for you. Yeah, bye, Felicia. That's right. Seven. And he grew to level eight as well. Water sport, ah, I don't want that. <laughs> what? No money? Bitch, get me my Poké Dollar. What the fuck was that? I feel, I feel scammed. Wasn't that fun? It's better if you have more Pokémon with you. Okay, Andre. To get started, I'll give you 30 Pokéballs. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. If you have lots of Pokemon with you, it will be safer on long trips. Plus, it will be a lot more fun having your Pokemon friends along. Okay, I need to get going. Bye bye now. We're gonna leave this up here at Brute 202. 
guys, um, this was the first episode, so this is going to be a little bit bigger than the other episodes. I apologize for the runtime. But it, it was... The others are going to be more moderate uh, when it comes to their... their... Uh, um, to their time. Uh, thank you so much for watching. Uh, and thank you so much for attempting to watch the series. I really appreciate it. Uh, links to DBCA reaction series are here. Links to uh, Minecraft Let's Play is here. Links to the Pokemon Let's Play are going to be down here. And finally, here's the subscribe button if you guys want to subscribe, share it with your friends and with all that good stuff. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye!